Frida Kahlo by Mary Nin. Pictures by Yulia Zolotova. Hi, I'm Frida Kahlo. I've ex experienced a lot of misfortune in my life, but I refuse to let it keep me down. Instead, I allowed art to ignite a passion inside of me. When I was six years old, I became ill with polio, which left me with a disability in my leg. The illness made my right leg shorter and thinner than the left. From then on, I always walked with a limp. This is part of the reason I always wore long dresses. During this time, my father was a beacon of hope. He was a photographer a pain and a painter. He taught me how literature, nature and philosophy, despite the fact that the sports was seen as an unsuitable for girls, he encouraged me to play sports to regain my strength. He also taught me photography. I learned how to retouch, develop and colour photographs. I started school later than my peers because I'd been sick for so long. When I did start school, I got into trouble because I had rebellious nature. But then I changed schools. It, I was preparatory school that I had only just started accepting girls. It was a big school, but there, but, but there were only 35 children who were girls. Things started to turn around for me. I began enjoying learning, especially about the culture of my home nation, Mexico. I also liked matters of politics and justice. I often admired the work of a fellow student, Diego Rivia, who was also who was creating a mural called The Creation of School Campus. I'm going to marry him someday. I wanted to become a doctor, so I knew that I had to get good grades. Sadly, my dreams becoming a doctor ended after a bad incident accident. I was on a bus when it crashed. The bus c collided with a car and was injured very badly. A steel handrail stabbed me through my hip and my spine and pelvis were fractured. The pain that accident caused me followed me for the rest of my life. I was confined to, to a bed for a very long time before I could walk again. My parents encouraged me to paint and it made me a special easel for me so I could do so in, in bed. They also gave me brushes and boxes of paint. paints and even put a mirror on the ceiling so I could see myself. <coughs> Painting helped me kill the time and ease the pain, pain I experienced. I mostly painted pictures of myself because I was usually alone. Painting become the, became the best way for me to express myself and I continued to paint for the rest of my life. My art began to receive reconciliation my first solo expedition was in Julian Levy Gallery, Gallery, Gallery in New York. In 1938, it was a success. Soon after, the Laviole Museum purchased one of my paintings in the frame, the frame, making me the first Mexican artist to be featured in their collection. <coughs> I was asked to paint murals in my famous place. I travelled often for my art. 
and to continue my efforts to campaign for social and potential justice. My paintings have broken records for Latin American art. I became the first Latin American artist to break the one million million dollar threshold. When Diego and I ex- exchanged off for over one million dollars in two thousand six, which sold for U.S. five five thousand point six million, and in twenty sixteen, two lovers in the forest sold for eight pounds million. Even with all the success. One of my favorite things to do was teach younger students an art school at an art school. This made me very happy. Passion is the bridge that takes you from pain to change. Timeline: nineteen twenty-five. Frida is injured in a bus incident. Nineteen thirty-seven. Frida's paintings are included in her first exhibit in Mexico. 1938, Frida and her first solo exhibit at the Julian Le- Levery Gallery.